Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, saints. Let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, almighty God. Hallelujah. Which was, which is, and which is to come. We come again to worship the Lord this morning. We have gathered ourselves here to adore our Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We're about to go before the throne of grace. But I want you to know that we are worshipers in the house of God. And if you, hallelujah, here this morning, I want you to worship with us as we go before the throne of grace. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. There's none like you. There's none equal to you. Lord God, there's none before you and there's none after you. Hallelujah, you're holy and you're high and you're lifted up. And we come to adore you this morning. We come to recognize and acknowledge you this morning. You're our Savior. You're our Savior and our Lord. You're our King. Hallelujah. And you're soon to come again. And we thank you for all that you've done for us, Lord. Oh, God, we're standing here today, hallelujah, with life in our bodies, with health and strength strength because you have blessed us oh God to come into 
into the house of God one more time and we say thank you Lord Jesus. We thank you for your blessings of life. We thank you for your gifts of love oh God. We thank you for your provisions for us Lord. God we thank you because you're a good God and hallelujah there's none like you nowhere God. You're a wonderful counselor. You're a mighty God. You're the everlasting father and the prince of peace and we say thank you for gathering us here today Lord. We come to worship you. We have no oh God reservations of who you are. You're the lamb of God. You came here to take away the sins of the world and we're here standing here by your grace. We're here because of your mercy. We're here because you thought about us Lord. Oh God some of us have a testimony that you are good God because you have brought us out of darkness into your marvelous light. We ask you to bless us this morning. Oh God bless us as we worship together. Oh as we come to worship you in spirit and in truth. We ask you to bless oh God with oh God somebody's looking for the Holy Ghost this morning. Somebody's looking for their gift oh God. The gift that keeps on giving. The gift of eternal life God. And you came to give it to us Lord God. For those who will repent and believe hallelujah they can receive this gift this morning. Somebody's looking for deliverance this morning. Oh God they don't want to live the life they're living anymore. And we know that you're the answer today God. You have the answer for every situation. You have the answer for every problem God. We asking you for that blessing this morning. We looking for that miracle this morning. We want you to comfort us oh God. We want you to lead and guide us oh God. Oh God we trust in you. We believe in you Lord God. We ask you to bless every household God. Oh God bless the family Lord. Keep the family together Lord. Oh bless the husband and the wife God keep the marriage together Lord bless the children the sons and the daughters Lord remember our grandchildren oh God all oh, those that are far off God you're the God that calls out of darkness into your marvelous light God we ask you to call our children oh God the ones that gone astray God those that have forgotten what you've done for them Lord bring them back oh God before it's everlasting too late Lord we ask you for a blessing of miracle a salvation this morning save somebody Lord God give them the victory over the problems and the situation give them the victory that's found in your word this morning give them the victory Lord God the victory that comes to our praise oh God we thank you today Lord Jesus oh God we love you Lord bless oh God oh God in this season now God oh every season belong to you but we come to adore you Lord God we are your true worshipers this morning and God we ask you to bless every family those that are watching online God go into those places oh God oh, give them a strength to come out God give them the strength to come in fellowship Lord God oh God give them a mind Lord Jesus to draw nigh to you this morning Lord oh God we pray for the leaders of our land this morning we pray for oh God from the president on down oh the governors, the mayors of every city, Lord. Oh, God, oh, we need your help, Lord God. Oh, in this dark world that we living in today, we need you, Lord, like never before, God. Lord God, we ask you to bless the man of God. Oh, Apostle Field this morning, as he stands behind this sacred desk to deliver your word, the gospel, oh God, that was able to deliver and break chains and set captives free. We ask you to anoint him afresh this morning, Lord. Oh, give him the strength and articulation of speech, oh God. Open up a door of utterance that he may speak your word boldly, oh God. And we give your name the praise and the glory. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Let the church say amen and amen. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, he's the best gift that you can ever receive is Jesus Christ our Lord I'm going to read to you from the scriptures found in 2nd Peter hallelujah first chapter I'm going to read verses 3 through 11 hallelujah thank you Jesus if you have your Bible you can read along with me hallelujah 
Oh, you can listen to the word of the Lord. It says, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Hallelujah! Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust, and besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. Hallelujah. And to brotherly kindness, charity. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind. And cannot see afar off, and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fail. You shall never fall. Hallelujah, you shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Lord add a blessing to reading, hearing of his word, let it be sanctified in your heart that we may live thereby in Jesus' name. Amen.
shouting, my trouble's over. Just as soon as I get there, just as soon as I get there, just as soon as I get there, glory, glory, hallelujah, I'll be singing, I'll be shouting just as soon as I get there. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, touch your neighbor and say, I'm glad I'm here in Jesus' name. Oh, I'm glad I'm here in Jesus' name. It could have been the other way. I'm glad I'm here in Jesus' name. Oh, it could have been the other way. I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I'm here. Hallelujah. I'm glad I'm here in Jesus' name. Yes. At this time, I'm here to welcome all of our first-time visitors, both virtually and here in the temple. If we have any first-time visitors here in the temple, we ask that you stand and remain standing in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Well, we understand that this is the holiday season and people are rushing around and buying gifts, but the choir said it perfectly. I'll be singing. I'll be shouting just as soon as I get there. Hallelujah. Well, I want you to know you can't get there unless you're ready. And the Lord gave us the gift so that we would be ready to meet him in the air. Hallelujah. It is the salvation that he gave us when he died on the cross. We want you to be ready to go with us so that you can sing, so you can shout just as soon as as you make it over on behalf of our pastor, Apostle Fields, and our assistant pastor, Elder Ronald Young, and the Greater Refuge Temple family, we want you to know that we love you with the love of the Lord. And if by chance you don't have a church home, won't you consider this temple of worship where we'll be singing, where we'll be shouting, and we'll be singing glory, hallelujah, just as soon as our feet strike Zion. God bless you in Jesus' name.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Hallelujah. At this time, it's offering time in the temple. Hallelujah. Offering time in the temple. As the deacons assemble themselves and the technicians put on the screen on the various ways to be a blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I ask that you go into your places of uh, money to be a blessing. Hallelujah. At this time, hallelujah. I ask that you please stand in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We also have electronic giving in the social hall in Jesus' name. Let us look to the Lord. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for this opportunity for life, health, and strength. Lord, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy, Lord, towards us, Lord. We ask, Father God, that you continue to have your blessings upon us. Lord, we ask that you bless this gift as well as the giver, Lord. Oh, God, use it for the upbuilding of your kingdom. Lord, you said good measure, pressed down, shaken together, run it over, Lord. You give me and give into your bosoms. Lord, we ask that you be a blessing to us, Lord. Bless those that give, hallelujah, cheerfully, Lord Jesus. Some 30, some 60, some 100 fold. Have it your way in Jesus' name we pray. In the Lord Jesus' name, amen and amen. You turn to the walls and the ushers will direct you in Jesus' name.
Thank you for your giving in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. At this time, that's that sacred part of the service. Hallelujah. The word of God. Hallelujah. He said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. At this time, I will, without any further delay, we please stand and give God praise as our own pastor, Apostle W. Michael Fields, come to bring them for the word of God. Bless you. Let's give Jesus some praise this morning. Come on and bless him. Bless him. Has he been good to you? Give him glory. Hallelujah. If you know he's good, give him praise. No one should have to beg you to praise him. He's worthy of the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Praise the Lord, everyone. I do honor Christ on today because he is the boss. And we're so grateful for all that he has done and for all that he is to us. Uh, he has been better to us. Uh, than we have been to ourselves and when you hear that sometimes people think that's a cliche but look at somebody tell them that's not a cliche he has been better to me than I've been to myself and he's worthy of the praise and this is why we're here we didn't come to look around or to see what each other has on but we we came to give Jesus some praise Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. And I know during this time of year, people say Jesus is the reason for the season. Uh, he's just the reason for everyday life. Uh, he, God is God in our lives. Where would you be had it not been for the Lord? I said, where would you be had it not been for the Lord? Uh, and the truth is, I don't know. Some of us would be dead. Some of us some of us would be in jail some of us would be in the nut house oh yeah some of us would be in the crack house but here we are in god's house and you mean to tell me that you won't give him praise yes he's worthy of the praise you have full activity of your limbs you're here in your right mind who wouldn't serve a God like this? Come on and open those mouths and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Yes. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and his mercy and his mercy, his mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. I honor the Lord uh, today and we honor our assistant pastor and lady uh, young and to all of the men of God, uh, to the deacons, to all of our mothers that are with us this morning. Let's give our mothers a hand. Yeah. Thank God uh, for the mothers and missionaries and to the saints of God, to all of you and to those of you who have connected with us this morning via live stream. We're here in the house of God worshiping him and I pray that you are worshiping the Lord wherever you are uh, and the same spirit that we feel here you're feeling there hallelujah he inhabits the praises of his people uh, you can have church anywhere uh, anywhere the people of god dwell that sanctuary all you have to do is lift your hands and shout out a praise come on let's do it one more time shout out a praise yeah. Yeah. 
Father, we love you so much once again. You you continue to watch over us. And here we are, Lord, in your house. And we ask that you would bless us through your word. Your word is rich and powerful. Your word brings healing and deliverance. We have discovered that whatever we need, we can find it in your word. Your word is alive and breathing and vibrant. Your word can touch us where no one else can touch us and heal us where no one else can heal us. Your word is powerful and sharp. Your word enriches and encourages. Whatever is needed, do it in the midst of your word, we ask. Send it with power and demonstration of your Holy Spirit. And we'll remember to give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name. Say it with me. In Jesus' name. Amen. I just want to read one verse out of 1 Samuel, the second chapter. 1 Samuel chapter 2, and that verse would be verse number 9. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 9. You have it. Say amen. Mm-hmm. Not enough of you said amen, I'll wait. First Samuel chapter 2, verse number 9. And I want to read that in concert. Let's read that one verse as a family. If you have it, say amen. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 9. Let's read. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength shall no man prevail. Let's read that one more time. And the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength shall no man read it one more time. He will keep the feet of his saints. For by strength shall no man. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word, sanctified in our hearts, that we may grow thereby. Look at someone before you sit down and give them the message on today. Just say these words, God has kept us. Mm -hmm. Now make it personal. Just lift up your hands and say, God has kept me. You may be. Yeah. Hallelujah. Recalling and reminiscing. Recalling and reminiscing is what I'm doing on this fourth Sunday of what is the last month of this year. I think it's most appropriate to think through the events of this year. And I say this year, but I'm very sure I am provoking you to think even beyond this year. And I'm sure that when any of us, if not all of us, get through thinking, you'll start thanking him for all that he has done. It's, it's a given. There's, there's no way you can think about what the Lord has done and not come out praising him. It, it's an automatic trigger to those of us who have been developing this relationship with the Lord, the first thing that comes to my mind is that he didn't have to do anything for me at all. The fact that he took time during the time to walk and talk with me stimulates a praise that certainly I don't need anyone to provoke or push or prompt me just to think about the fact that he could have left me wherever I was. And I'm just talking about this year. Hallelujah. But lean on someone and say, but there's so many other times. I'm sure of this had not God made a way. 
don't know exactly where I would be. And, and it's easy to talk about those things we were able to see ahead of time. But I need to insert this before I get into the text that there are many instances and times and uh, things that were happening that we were not even aware of. You know, when I was growing up, the mothers would stand up and say, I thank God for keeping me through danger seen and unseen. When I was a little boy, I really didn't understand it. And in my mind, I was saying, why would you bother thanking him for stuff uh, you did not see? But as I'm a little older now, and I have sense enough to know that that stuff you can't see a lot of times is even worse than what you did see. Uh, so here lies the reason for many of the greatest fears that people have in life. Uh, it comes not from what we see, but it comes from those things that we're not able to see or understand, that those unpredictable seasons that the saints go through. Hallelujah. Things that sneak up on you. Anybody have things sneak up on them? I wasn't, I wasn't looking for that. I wasn't expecting that. Hallelujah. And here the enemy comes in those instances and he exploits our imaginations. He'll, he'll make suggestions to our hearts and minds as if to make us feel as though God slipped up somehow or that God has forsaken us. He starts playing with our feelings. And all of a sudden, those of us who may have seen so faithful start to lying in beds of insecurity. We're not sure all of a sudden. Hallelujah. And the enemy has a way of exploiting all of that. Israel would oftentimes go through periods like that where uh, the Bible teaches us and shows us that every year they would travel from their homes to far away Jerusalem, you know, from wherever they were, many of them by foot. Uh, as we know, there were three major feasts that they were told that they had to go through. And the journey sometimes was very difficult. Sometimes they had to journey past enemies and go through treacherous areas. Sometimes some of them didn't even make the journey. They may have been robbed or killed on the way there. There were some, history would say, some of them had to travel more than 100 miles to get into the city of Jerusalem. But God told them to go. Hallelujah. And the road sometimes was dangerous and uncertain. Uh, and sometimes the Lord will allow us to go through periods of life where we'll have a feeling. Hallelujah. Where we get an unction or uh, a notification, if you will, that uh, had it not been for him, his hand on us, hallelujah, we would not have made it, even while we're making the journey, uh, in the midst of whatever we're going through. He has a way of triggering feelings, hallelujah, that he's there. And I know sometimes you feel like he's not there, but like a good father, Hallelujah. You may hear his voice, so you may feel his presence, and he'll just let you know that he's here. I need you to help me minister to someone and look at them and say, but the Lord is here. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I need to encourage someone because along the road, people are met with threats met with sickness and just like back in Bible days on their way to Jerusalem they were met with treacherous robbers and difficulties along the way but the people knew I have to go I have to get to that place where God wants me to be although at times they felt vulnerable or unsafe they continued the journey and likewise our spiritual journey 
Hallelujah. There are hard times and difficulties, and there are treacherous moments when the enemy would try to devour. Did not Jesus say to Peter, if the enemy can get you like he wants you, he would sift you as wheat. But I believe, hallelujah, that perhaps there is one thing that the enemy has taken for granted as it concerns us is that those of us who really know him and love him, we carry his promises with us everywhere we go. That is a significant point that you need to hold on to. You are carrying his promises with you. I didn't just read it. Nobody just told it to me. I am carrying his promises with me. Look down your row and say, I'm carrying his promises with me. That means a lot. Hallelujah. Never mind what other folks are carrying. I'm carrying his promises. Everything he said that he's going to do. Everything he said he would move out of my way. Everything God said he would do in my lives, in my life, in my family's life. Everything he said he would do concerning my finances, concerning my health. I'm carrying all of that with me. Hallelujah. Although the enemy is raging and he wants to keep us from, hallelujah, making this journey, I want you to understand that it is important for you to hold on to the promises of God. Testify to someone before I go into the text. Hold on to the promises of Yes, because all of his promises are yea, and in him, amen. So no matter what comes, hallelujah, God will keep his promise, hallelujah. Lift up your hands and say, no matter what comes, God will keep his promise. So what I need you to do from this day forward, when you feel like giving up and when you feel like letting go, sing a song. Hallelujah. Now that might seem silly to some of you, and I'm not talking about any old song. I'm not telling you to sing the blues or hallelujah, to sing something that is contrary to God's word, but uh, I want you to sing, even if you have to make up a song, sing something pertaining to the goodness of your God. Hallelujah. And we have history to help us with this because I'm told through studying and reading the lives of the people of Israel when they felt a need, hallelujah, for God's strength, they would sing on their way to Jerusalem. And with they traveling through dangerous areas, instead of giving in to their fear, they would sing to Jehovah. They would raise an anthem them and many times their enemies had to sit behind trees in hiding places and they would hear the people of God singing songs and I don't know if they knew the song I'm sure this song was written many years after Israel but uh, hallelujah if it was one of us perhaps walking through desert areas we would open our mouths and sing I've come this far by faith leaning on the Lord the children of Israel would cry out in hope even in the midst of uncertainty and they would drown out their fears with the song there is one piece of music in particular written by David that they would take to themselves while they were making this journey and that's found in the 121st Psalm many times it's called the song of degrees it would be sung as they took 
their journey. They would say these words, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord which made heaven and earth. It was a song for rough and uncertain roads. They would sing it loud. I'm not going to give in to fear. I'm not going to worry. I'm going to sing a song about God's ability to help me in the midst of my uncertainties. And you can sense the insecurity. You can sense that something is going on, but the psalmist sings on their way up. Hallelujah. Help me preach and tell somebody you got to learn how to sing on your way up. I didn't say on your way down. I said on your way up. You got to learn how to have church even if you're the only one in church. While I'm taking this journey, I'm not going to let what I see or how I feel, hallelujah, trick me out of worship. I'm going to lift up my head. I'm going to keep looking up while I make this journey and I'm going to sing about the goodness of my God. I'm not even going to let the devil mess with my mind or, or my imagination or give me visions of defeat. I'm going to learn how to sing about what I'm expecting from my God. If I expect healing, I'm going to sing Jesus is a healer. If, uh, and some of y'all need healing right now. And you better put a song in your mouth about how he's healing. You remember, mothers, how we used to sing Jesus is a healer. The world don't believe it. Jesus is a healer. He heals all the time. Heals the sick, raises the dead. There's no reason, oh, y'all don't hear me, but scream down your row and say, Jesus is a healer. And uh, he heals all the time. I used, I used to wonder where all these songs come from. They, they come out of troubles. They, they come out of tears. But, uh, they also come out of confidence in a God who is able, who watches over us. Hallelujah. So somebody in this room, you need to hear what I'm saying. You better stop singing the blues and sing concerning the promises of he promised never to leave me. Oh, instead of singing jingle bells, you better sing. I've got joy unspeakable and full. Oh, glory. Scream down your row and say you better sing about his goodness. Sing and until you feel better while you take the journey. While they were traveling into Jerusalem from wherever they were. Hallelujah. Even their enemies would hear them singing about the goodness of God. God and they would say my help comes from the Lord he's the one that made the heavens and the earth and they wanted the enemies to know you might be coming towards me but there's no weapon of man and there's no weapon of any demon no danger in nature that can keep God from keeping me and come on help me preach and tell your neighbor there's nothing that can keep God from keeping me God can keep you hallelujah I just came today to remind you since this is the last Sunday of uh, hallelujah this year the fourth Sunday we may have one Sunday left but look what the Lord has done look I'm asking you to review the details of your personal stuff uh -huh. check your memory and 
Hallelujah. Go through month by month. And uh, some of y'all may go beyond this year. And uh, I want you to understand that uh, it was nobody else but God, no one else, because there were some things that were designed to destroy you. Let me say it again. There were some things you went through. The purpose of it was to destroy you. And hallelujah. And isn't it something? If you think back while you were going through, hallelujah, everybody else left you. I'm talking about those that may have started out saying I'm going to help you. I'll be there for you. But for some reason when things got really thick, you turned around and discovered that everybody that said they was going to be there for some reason or other, hallelujah, they were not there. And I, I want to submit unto you, it was designed that way to prove to you that no one can do you like God can. Oh, and now I'm remembering myself. I got to see just how powerful this God is in my life. Had it not been for that, I wouldn't know what I know now about this God that I serve. So scream down your row and say, I thank God for this journey. Well, no, I'm not mad about it. I'm not going to be upset. I thank God for this journey because it could have killed you. It, it could have wiped you out. Yes, and some of you know what I'm talking about. Had no money, lost your job. This happened, that happened. Sick in your body, but look where you are right now. Scream at somebody and say, I'm in the house of God. And, and that might not mean anything to you but if you knew all the things I had to go through just to get here this moment this very second hallelujah I don't even understand it myself I was supposed to die I should have lost my mind I'm supposed to be crazy but here I am and because I'm here I feel like I have to praise him I feel like I must praise him I feel like the reason why I'm here is to praise him you don't know like I know what he's done what he's done what he's done what he's done you don't know you don't have an idea of what I had to endure but look what the Lord has done scream at somebody say look what the Lord has done he he's kept me that's all you you don't need to know the details he's kept me he's kept me he's kept you don't need to know what they said but he's kept me you don't you don't need to know what they did he, the Lord kept me Oh, and I feel like praising him right now. I'm not going to wait till the benediction. I'm not going to wait for the altar call. I'm going to do it now. I'm not going to wait for the praise leader to say pray. I'm going to praise him now when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me. My soul my soul cries out my soul cries out there's a hallelujah in my mind hallelujah in my spirit hallelujah and every thought of praise comes I can't help but give him praise and I can't help but say thank you I can't help myself Set somebody in the hallelujah on your bench and say, I can't help myself. And I know uh, some of you may be sitting next to somebody that's trying trying to be sadiddy, you know, uh, and uh, just trying to rock a little bit and just looking around, but uh, that's not the kind of saint I'm going to be. And, uh, sometimes I feel like I'm going crazy in praise and, uh, because he's been just that good in my life. And, uh, I know I might be a little loud, 
but I can't help myself. And sometimes I feel a scream in my spirit. And, and it's not just when I'm in church. Sometimes you might be at work and you feel like screaming. God's been good to me. I'll let anybody feel like screaming right now. Let it flow. Let it flow. He's been good. <laughs> Hallelujah. I feel I feel a praise in my spirit. I, <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I read one verse out of what's called Hannah's song. Some say it's a prayer, but she's really rejoicing. She, she had gone from a, a state of depression and depletion and uh, feeling rejected and neglected uh, hallelujah and to, uh, to going to the height and ecstasy of praise and worship uh, the cornerstone idea of the song is simple uh, she's singing about the fact that God controls everything yeah. hallelujah even those things that look uncontrollable he's in control you remember her testimony She's married to a man named Elkin, uh, and uh, he's got two wives, Penina and herself. And uh, the Bible says that he shut up her womb. She's not able to have children, but Penina is. And to add injury to insults, Penina's having children, and she's tormenting Hannah, you know, perhaps sticking her tongue out or being a little sassy. Something's wrong with you. You you can't have children, but I can. And, and she prays. She goes to church and brings her burden to the Lord. And she prays silently. Her lips are moving, but there's no sound coming out of her mouth. Eli, the priest, walking through through uh, the sanctuary sees her and uh, because he can't hear what she's saying he comes to the erroneous conclusion that, that she must be drunk something is wrong uh, with her and uh, immediately he criticizes what he sees something is wrong she must uh, be a wine bibber and uh, hallelujah but she is so engrossed in her prayer she doesn't care about what people think. Listen, when you're going through, how uh, don't pay folks any mind. I, I don't care if it's, if it's the preacher. Don't pay them no mind. I need a miracle in my life. I need a blessing in my life. And, and Eli has the nerve to approach her while she's praying. What, what's wrong with you, woman? I, I see your lips moving, but uh, I didn't hear anything. That tells me that uh, when I'm talking to God, uh, it nobody's business it's between me and my gods I don't mean no harm but look at your neighbor and say you don't need to know my business you don't need to know you don't need to know my business all you need to know is that when I have a situation in my life I can go to God in prayer that's all you need to know and that's the trouble and some of us are having we spend so much time hallelujah worrying about what people are going to think about us until you you neglect to put your all on the altar and, uh, hallelujah because she was in great distress she's now asking God to change something that would be deemed unchangeable I can't have a baby my womb is locked up it would be crazy 
crazy then if Eli did hear what she was saying, Lauren, I want to have a baby when everybody knew by now that she could not have a baby. I need you to help me preach to somebody and said neighbor there's a prophecy circulating about you those things that were shut up in your life God is getting ready to open it and that stuff that People know about you. They're rehearsing it and saying it ain't gonna happen for her. She's been waiting a long time. It ain't gonna happen for him. Look at somebody and say everything the devil said could not happen. God's getting ready to make it happen. You better clap your hands and give God some praise. Don't you don't you remember what the angel said? For with God all things are possible. Hallelujah. She she was in bitterness of soul. That, that's what Samuel writes in the fifth in the first chapter. She was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept sore and she vowed a vow and said Lord hallelujah look on the affliction of your handmaid and remember me don't forget me while on others thou art calling please Lord don't pass me by hallelujah I want you not only to give me a baby but she tells him exactly what she wants I want a boy hallelujah you better be specific in your prayer don't play with it don't talk around it tell him what you want I want a boy hallelujah that's what I want I've been waiting for this the doctor said no but not only did she stretch out and say wow hallelujah blessing other folks I need a blessing she tells him exactly what she wants hallelujah if you give him to me I'll bring him right back to you I won't get the big head I'll tell everybody you did this I won't walk around acting like I did it all by myself but every time people see me I'm gonna say this is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in my eyes hallelujah and you know the story hallelujah God gave her a man child and this is where the song picks up hallelujah Lord you did what I needed you to do you, you moved this out of my way you made the impossible possible and she prayed my heart rejoices in the Lord my horn has been exalted and my mouth is enlarged over my enemies there was a whole lot of folks watching me go through and even they were saying ain't no hope for her she'll never be blessed but scream down the world and say to your neighbor I'm so glad it ain't up to you how I'm blessed don't have nothing to do with what you think it has nothing to do with the opinions of people I cried unto the Lord and he heard me hallelujah I want somebody to know that when God gets through blessing you the mouths of the naysayers and those who have been doubting the blessings in your life they're going to be standing there with their mouths wide open hallelujah God's going to bless you so much 
<laughs> until people will look in amazement. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> They're going to be amazed at your praise. <laughs> oh, I felt that in my spirit. <laughs> They're going to be amazed at how you dance before the Lord and how you magnify the Lord. <laughs> Scream at your neighbor and say, you haven't seen my best praise yet. <laughs> oh yes, I've had a difficult year. I've had to cry. I've, I've had some ups and downs. <laughs> but I still have a song in my spirit. <laughs> Look what the Lord has done. <laughs> she says, there's nobody like you, Lord. Nobody as holy as you. There's none beside thee. Nobody else was able to keep me in my storm. I almost gave up. And there were days when I felt like throwing in the towel. Hallelujah. But I found myself on the altar. Found myself calling your name. Because I heard somewhere that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Hallelujah. I didn't know nothing else to do but to pray. Anybody know what I'm talking about? I didn't know anything else to do but to open my mouth and say, Lord, I need a miracle. Oh, Lord, and some of us, that's the only prayer I could pray. Tears coming down your face. And all you could say is, Lord, I need you. Stop by here, Lord. All I could say sometime is your name. I'm in pain, and the only thing I could pray is Jesus. Anybody in here know what I'm talking about? Sometimes the prayer is just one word. Jesus, sick in my body. And all you could do was sit up in your bed and say, Jesus, hallelujah. Scream at your neighbor and say, he understands. Even when you can't say anything out of your mouth, he understands the moanings and the groanings of my spirit. He knows the way that I take. He knows the pain that you feel. He understands the confusion in your mind. And all you've got to do is rise up and say, early will I seek thee, God. You are the lifter of my head. Hallelujah. You better open your mouth. Don't you just sit there and die. Don't you just sit there and lose your mind. You better open your mouth. Don't you just sit there and let the devil mess with your joy. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Don't you just lay there in your perplexity and let the devil mess with your mind. No, baby, open your mouth. Sing in the devil's face. Look how far he brought me. Open your mouth, baby, and sing a lullaby to your pain. I've come this far by faith leaning on the Lord you better open your mouth you better open your mouth hallelujah I don't care what you're going through 
even if nothing comes out open your mouth that's what Hannah did she laid on the altar and although she was misunderstood by Eli God heard her prayer and now God gives her a new song Hannah's song look what the Lord has done he has opened my womb hallelujah he has closed the mouth of my enemies he has turned my situation around he is my rock he is my shield and my buckler he is the joy of my salvation he is my refuge and my fortress in him would I put my trust hallelujah she sings loud hallelujah I don't care who hears me singing I gotta sing about his goodness and she sings talk no more so exceedingly proud and don't be arrogant out of your mouth because God is a God of knowledge I didn't know how I was gonna make it but he knew I didn't know if I could make it through the storm but he knew I didn't know where my next meal was coming from but he is my help a very present help in the time of trouble can we have church for a few minutes I need you to look at your neighbor and just ask him a question and say where would you be without the Lord where would you be you look pretty today you look handsome with that tie but I want to know what's underneath that tie if there's a testimony of his keeping power hallelujah look back at somebody and say neighbor I want you to know that you're looking at a living testimony I've been through hell I've had some low days I've had some days that I felt like I wasn't gonna make it but here I am to worship here I am to bow down I'm not singing because I hear the music playing I didn't get this song in church I got this song in the midst of trial and tribulation real real Jesus is real to me oh yes he gives me the victory so many people doubt him but I can't live without him and that is why I love him so cause he's real he's real to me how do you know he's real get somebody by the hand I say I know he's real cause when I was sick he healed my body I know he's real cause when I was lost he found me hallelujah if Hannah was here I'd have to give her the mic 
and she said my womb was closed but he opened it up the doctor said no but God said yes she'd open her mouth and say I was I was depressed I was ridiculed and people criticized me but God turned it around tell your neighbor tell neighbor open your mouth and tell somebody what it did for you don't tell three people real quick oh Lord I can't tell you everything all I can say right now is that it kept me it kept me he kept me she said the bowls of the mighty men are broken and they stumbled they that were full had hired out themselves for bread when they were hungry hallelujah but God fed them and they that were barren God made them have babies they were fruitful hallelujah tell somebody before I finish just say one word fruitful they may not understand it now but lay your hand on somebody and say fruitful oh Lord this is what it means everything the devil said was dead hallelujah I'm going to make it fertile everything the devil said would never rise you'd never be able to produce God said I'm going to water it oh Lord and you're going to be fruitful just cream it in the atmosphere and say fruitful hallelujah everything the devil closed I'm going to open it up and I'm going to bless you thank you hallelujah 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 what Hannah had to deal with uh, caused a humiliation uh, and shame uh, but God delivered uh, and now she's rejoicing uh, hallelujah and she's singing loud uh, I need you to help me preach uh, and tell your neighbor uh, get ready to sing a new song uh, get ready to shout a new shout get ready to dance a new dance get ready get ready get ready get ready get ready get ready hallelujah I don't know who I'm talking to lift up your hands and say Lord I thank you for keeping me now testify to your neighbor and say neighbor had it not been for the Lord who was on my side I don't know where I would be thank you Lord I looked at Hannah and God told me to look again at a woman by the name Mary hallelujah it wasn't that that she could not have a child but she wasn't married yet she was espoused to a man named Joseph and an angel appeared to her and said thou art blessed 
and the highly favored you shall have a child and I want you to call his name Jesus and she said wait a minute it's not supposed to be like this I'm exposed think about the scandal and what people are gonna say and the angel said don't worry the Holy Ghost is gonna overshadow you and you gonna have a baby look at your neighbor and say neighbor I want you to know that God's already figured it out I know how I'm gonna fix it I know how I'm gonna change it I may break some of that rules but I'm God and when I'm ready to move nobody can change my mind so tell your neighbor I don't care what it looks like I don't care what the people say it shall be like the Lord said now here is Mary with the cousin Elizabeth singing like Hannah sang both of them with big bellies hallelujah John and Elizabeth when she heard the salutation the baby jumped in her belly grab a hold of your belly and tell your neighbor I know I'm pregnant I feel a blessing jumping in my belly keep it spiritual I feel healing moving in my belly you said it couldn't happen but when God says yes yeah. and Mary started singing oh my soul the magnify the Lord and my spirit have rejoiced in God my savior cause he regarded the lower state of his handmaid behold from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed lift up your hands and say Lord from this day forward everybody around me will know I'm blessed yeah they'll know I'm blessed cause they know my story I almost didn't make it but here I am oh Lord I can't explain it all I can say is that he kept me he kept me I hear it in my spirit I don't know what it means to you but I know what it means to me shake somebody's hand and just say he kept me yeah I woke up this morning on this Christmas Eve and there was a song in my spirit and it goes like this just another day that the Lord has kept me just another day that the Lord has kept me he has kept me from all evil with my mind stayed on Jesus just another day that the Lord has kept me get somebody by the hand get your neighbor get your neighbor by the hand get somebody by the hand and let's sing it one more time and let everybody hear it say just another day that the Lord has 
kept me just another day that the Lord has kept me he has kept me from all evil with my mind stayed on Jesus just another day that the Lord has kept me come on and praise him for open up your mouth and give him glory he keeps the feet of the saints I shouldn't even be here but he kept me should have lost my mind but he kept me I could have died in the hospital but he kept me I could be living in the street but he kept me I could be dead in the cemetery but he kept me and I'm gonna praise him if it's the last thing I do I'm gonna raise my hand and give him praise I'm gonna open my mouth and sing of his goodness I'm gonna clap my hands and lift my voice and praise him Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hosanna, <laughs> Jesus! will he will keep the feet of his saints <laughs> and the wicked shall be silent in darkness for by strength for by strength no man prevail she's letting us know in her song I couldn't have done any of that myself I did not make it this far on my own strength. It was God all the time. He has kept us. He has kept me. Oh, oh I feel a praise in the house. If you feel like I do, just let loose on your praise. Just let it out and give him glory. The altar is ready. Anyone desire a prayer? You want to give your life to the Lord Jesus? Oh, oh. glory to God. Hishanda. You have not been baptized into that wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today is the day of your salvation. Come. The day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Come. The altar is ready. You want to give your life to Jesus? You want to be filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost? Come. You have a special need of prayer. Make your way to the altar. Touch and agree with the man of God. Come. Whatever your needs are, those of you who have connected with us via live stream, we haven't forgot about you. While we're praying here, we're also praying for you. Put your name in that comment section. One by one, 
If you're in the need of prayer, you know someone that needs prayer, tag them, letting them know that the saints of God here at Red Refuge Temple are praying for them, a move of God to take place in their lives, change those unchangeable things, move those unmovable things. There's nothing too hard for God to do. One by one, put your name in the comment section while they're praying here and laying hands. Lay your hand on that TV screen or that computer screen or squeeze that smartphone. We're getting ready to pray a special prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, while we're praying here, those who are sitting in their homes, in their car, perhaps in their office, Father, they have connected with us today. Their names, one by one, are coming in. You know who they are. The problem, the burden, the situation. Oh, God, the request that's being made. We know that you're able to do all things. Stretch forth your hand. Heal in the name of Jesus. Save, Lord. Deliver, Father, right there. Let them feel your presence. Please, sir. Oh, God change their lives even now let them feel that turn around destroy that yoke <laughs> in the name of jesus destroy that yoke in the name of jesus heal that sickness we pray we claim it father and we count it done in the name of jesus everybody in the house say it with me in the name of jesus put those hands together give jesus some praise Come on, you can do better than that. Give the Lord some praise. Just another day that the Lord has kept me. Just another day that the Lord Just another day that the Lord has kept me. I'm so glad that the Lord has kept me. I'm so glad. So glad that the Lord has kept me. I'm so glad that the Lord.
Everybody in the house, just lift those hands and just take a few moments to worship the Lord. We're getting ready to go. It won't be long, but the anointing is flowing richly in this place. He doesn't want anyone to leave the same way. The Lord is in this place. The anointing is flowing richly. Miracles are taking place even now. Yes. Yeah. I feel the anointing flowing in this place. Glory. Keep those hands raised. Ah. And receive it. The Lord is moving in this place. He's blessing in this place. He's anointing in this place. Hallelujah. 
Don't sit here and watch others get blessed, but you can get a blessing too. Lift your hands and worship him. Lift those hands and worship the God of your salvation. Hallelujah.
give Jesus praise. He's worthy. Come on. Come on and praise him in the house. gonna leave right on this note but if the Holy Ghost is dealing with you don't be such in a hurry to leave stay here let God work with you the Spirit of the Lord is moving in this place yeah he's moving in this place so if you're feeling moving on you after the benediction just just make your way to the altar the Lord is doing something in this place father we love you we thank you for what you're doing in our midst we thank you and praise you dismiss from this place Lord but never from your presence may the grace of God the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit rest rule and abide now henceforth and forevermore in Jesus name amen Peace be unto you. If the Lord is still dealing with you, make your way down to the altar. Oh, let it rain. Yes, make your way. God bless you. And thank you so much for joining us today in worship. It is my prayer that you are enlightened, enriched, and encouraged by the word of God that went forth. Always praying that the Lord would strengthen your hearts and minds, bring you to a place that he wants you to be always. God is able to do just that. And just in case you are looking for a church home, I want you to feel free to be a part of Greater Refuge Temple here in Washington, D.C. We'll be glad to take you under watch care and we'll do our very best to help you find a permanent place of worship in your area. We all need the word of God and we all need a place where we can go and be fed with the truth of God. And if you would like to plant a seed in this ministry and you haven't been able to do it yet, feel free, follow the instructions on the bottom of your screen, our technician, will make that information available to you. Admin at grtdc.org. You can send your prayer request, your request for membership, and someone from our staff will get back to you. Looking forward to meeting you again. Join us next week, won't you? But until then, be careful, be prayerful, and be holy. Shalom, shalom.